Eros Mpumelelo Bongo has been recognized. He was executed by the apartheid regime for his uncompromising stance for equality. President Jacob Zuma honored him with the Order of Mendi for Bravery, a memorial lecture in his honor at his hometown of Fort Beaufort in the Eastern Cape followed. Remembering a man described as an unsung hero, a gallant fighter, committed and uncompromising. Executed at the tender age of 35 by the apartheid regime, his contribution still talked about more than 50 years after his passing. Bongo was among those early on in our struggle who decided that time had come for our struggling masses to engage directly in direct confrontation with the enemy of freedom. And uh, he was very courageous and was a very good tactician when it came to issues relating to the struggle. The message that I read out from Lord Joffe, who he saw Bongo a day before his execution, and Bongo said, all I wish for is that my children can get an education so that they can lead a happy life unlike us. So today is very special for me. Heartwarming moments for the family. Coincidentally, on Tuesday, Bongo was an award an order of men for bravery in gold, which is the highest honor you, you, you may get in this country. So, so we're very we're encouraged, we're emboldened. Uh, we feel now that his, his struggle was not in vain. The party Bono spent most of his life serving is on a quest to ensure that the current crop of leaders learn from his contribution. Unatipin was ABC News, Fort Bifort.